Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Todd Zarwell, the developer of iDoc.com, and I wanted to show you a new version of the contact lens calculator on iDoc. So this is the calculator, and as you can see, right eye, left eye, the information's there for both of them, and you can just add a prescription. So if I just add uh, minus seven, minus three, axis 170, and I'll add keratometry real quick too. Okay, so I've added my refraction and keratometry, and uh, now I can just click a uh, lens type. So I can do that by uh, select contact lens type, and it gives me some options, the, uh, the rigid lenses, the soft lenses, and now the new um, uh, synergized lens options are there too. Uh, if you don't know what you want based on your refraction and keratometry, you can get advice. So this button here will give you some advice. And this right eye, I had typed in a, a refraction and keratometry that had about three diopters of refractive and corneal cylinder. So it tells you that the sill is probably too much for a spherical lens, uh, but a, a bitoric lens could be a good choice. Soft lenses, well, toric soft lens is an option uh, because of the corneal cylinder, the synergized may not be a good option. So I'll just click the bitoric lens and it will give me the results based on a uh, based on the Mandel Moore fitting guide. And, uh, you know, of course, it has a power, a base curve, uh, diameter. Uh, it will calculate the residual prescription which is used to calculate a potential VA. So this says that there will probably be about a half diopter of uncorrected uh, astigmatism, but hopefully that patient will still get to a 2020 level. Uh, let's go to the left eye. So left eye, this one has uh, two diopters of corneal cylinder and, uh, uh, or I should say refractive cylinder and maybe a 175 corneal cylinder. So in this case, if we look at the advice, well, a spherical lens should be a good choice. So we'll choose that one. And there we have our spherical lens. So, uh, you know, just to point out a few things here. One, you can see that um, I added a um, kind of a topography of the keratometry just to kind of visualize where the steep and flat meridians are. Uh, there's also a tear lens pattern based on uh, how that uh, lens will fit on the cornea. And that again is to kind of help visualize exactly, you know, what you can expect for a fit here. You know, for example, if I switch this right eye lens to a spherical lens, even though there's a lot of corneal astigmatism, you can see that there's a lot more bearing along the horizontal meridian here. So I'll switch back to, oh, and there's also a note saying with three and a quarter adapters of corneal cylinder, a better choice may be a soft toric, back toric, or bi toric lens. So it kind of gives you the, you know, uh, information that this may not be the best choice for this patient. Uh, it will also have re uh, more residual astigmatism and potential VA is only like 2040 for this eye calculated. Let's go back to the bi toric option. And other features here are, uh, you can see how the calculation is done in an illustrated way. So, uh, you know, here is just a uh, illustration of the base curve, the keratometry, the tear lens power, uh, take into, into account the lens power and the tear lens power, what the total power of the lens will be, and then taking the vertex prescription, the total power, and calculating the uncorrected uh, prescription. So I don't know if you'll find this very useful, but I thought it might be helpful for beginners, students to kind of help visualize the logic behind contact lens fitting. So hopefully, hopefully you will find that useful. And we can also do hybrid lenses. Let's do that in the left eye since that's the one with the more uh, uh, less uh, astigmatic cornea. So we can choose a duet lens. Now for this lens, um, they also incorporate measurements like the HVID, uh, so you can change that and that will change the uh, calculation. 
Some lenses also use an ad power or a pupil size. So the uh, option to uh, add those things to the calculation is there also. If you have a spherical lens, sometimes I'll run into a situation where I'll calculate a contact lens. My first question is, well, my patient's wearing a contact lens. How does their lens compare to what I'm calculating? So you can answer that question by clicking this, uh, compare this to another spherical RGP uh, uh, button here. And let's see, so this is the calculated lens. Let's say my patient's wearing a, a 5.5. And let's see, for a base curve, let's just put this in in millimeters. I'll just say, let's say they're wearing a 7.8 millimeter base curve lens. If I hit compare lenses, it'll tell me that the uh, total power with the second lens that I typed in is quite a bit more minus than the other one. It's um, a diopter and a half more minus, depending which way you're referring to the lenses here and the uh, calculated lens is steeper than lens two. So that'll give me a sense of how these lenses might compare. And there's also simulated fluorescein patterns here to show that uh, the second lens, the lens that the patient is wearing, likely is causing some bearing because it's a fair amount flatter than uh, the calculated lens. So that hopefully will help make some decision making and tell you if you're on the right track as far as what you might change about that lens. The other thing I'd like to point out is it's I tried to make it really easy to get information into this calculator. The biggest obstacle for using something like this is just the fact that you have to do your refraction, do your keratometry, get that into your EMR, then enter all that stuff into a calculator like this, then enter it back into your EMR. So I've tried to make it easier to navigate those things. So um, when you enter the information, you get the option to just type in the refractions. But another option is to paste prescriptions and keratometries. So if I go to, if I go to a place where I have access to refractions, um, copy this and go back to my uh, uh, iDoc calculator and I can just paste this in here and if I just paste it there uh, sometimes the text looks like gibberish but I've written some good code that is pretty good at pulling out refractions from uh, information like that so if I hit parse it will find my refraction and I can tell at a glance that that's exactly what I wanted if it's not I can uh, there's some tools to kind of help get the refraction that you were looking for, but it is. So I can just select that. And the same thing will work with keratometry. So if I hit do keratometry, I can do the same thing there. I'm just gonna try to grab all this text, the glasses and the keratometry. Luckily, Revolution EHR kind of puts it all on one screen. I'm gonna copy that. If I go to iDoc, I can actually just paste this all into the search bar. And again, there's just a lot of garbled text as you can see here, but let's try this. I'm gonna say search everything. And let's see, three adapters of sill. Okay, so it did a really good job pulling out the keratometry and the optical RXs. So um, when you get a screen like this, um, you can ask to search for soft lenses, you can do oblique cross cylinder calculations, but now you can also do specialty lens calculations. So if I click that, it populates my calculator with all that stuff. So I didn't have to type anything. And now I just have to say, I want a bitoric lens and I want a, a synergize ID lens. And it did all that for me. There's one other trick that you can use. If you use a web-based EMR, uh, something that you can run in um, Chrome, uh, there's also a Chrome extension, so I would check this out if you use Revolution HR or another web-based EMR, but I still have this text highlighted here. If I just right-click this and say search iDoc in a side panel, uh, I can see this screen here that we just saw, but uh, select uh, special decontact lenses, do my uh, bitoric, and let's, let's do a... Um, multifocal this time just for the heck of it and now I have all these things on the side and instead of going back and forth back and forth back and forth between my EMR I could just type in my uh, rigid lens contact lens trial 
into uh, Revolution EHR in this case, and I can look at it very compact, I can look at it almost full screen, and that's one of the strengths of just how I've made um, uh, iDocs so responsive and the use of this uh, Chrome extension. I've made this also work really well for phones and tablets, and as you just saw, Chrome extensions. So on a phone, uh, it'll look like this. So it'll be nice and compact. Uh, some of the extraneous information is removed, but everything is there. It's a full feature calculator on a phone. So probably a longer video than it should have been. I always ramble on about these things and I could go on forever, but I'll stop there. And I really hope that you find this useful. The goal is always to make you work as efficiently as possible in the exam room. And I hope this helps you uh, just get your job done quicker on, uh, on your busy, busy clinic days. Thank you.